Lawmaking. Statutory interpretation. The rules of language. There are three rules of language applied by the courts. 1. A justum generis rule. 2. Expressio unius est exclusio alterius rule. 3. Nochatur associes rule. 1. A justum generis rule. This applies where a statute contains a list of items followed by and other. When the courts are determining what counts as other, they will look at the context of the things in the list. For example, a statute which states it applies to lions, tigers, cheetahs and other animals, would apply also to leopards but not to a horse. This rule was applied in Powell v. Kempton Park, 1897. The Betting Act 1853 made it an offence to keep a house, office, room or other place for the purposes of betting. The House of Lords had to decide if the statute applied to Tattersall's enclosure at Kempton Park Racecourse. They noted that the other items mentioned in the statute related to places indoors whereas Tattersall's enclosure was outside. Therefore no offence was committed. 2. Expressio unius est exclusio alterius rule. This means the express mention of one thing excludes all others. So, if a statute states it applies to lions and tigers, without stating and other, it would only apply to lions and tigers and not leopards and cheetahs. This rule was applied in R.V. Inhabitants of Sedgley, 1831, a statute raised taxes on lands, houses and coal mines. The court held that it did not apply to limestone mines as these were not specifically mentioned nor did the statute suggest that it would apply to other types of mines. 3. Nochatur Associes Rule This applies where there is a list of items in the statute and the item under consideration is included in the list, but the context of the items in the list suggests that the item should not be in the list. For example, if a statute states it applies to cat baskets, toy mice, flea collars and food, under this rule a loaf of bread would not be within the remit of the statute. In Inland Revenue v Frere, the respondent sought to deduct the interest paid on a short-term loan from his income for the purposes of assessing his liability to pay tax. The Income Tax Act of 1952 allowed the amount of interest, annuities or other annual interest to be deducted from the income. The court determined that under the Nochator Associates rule, the mention of amount of interest related only to annual interest as the other items related to annual payments. In summary, there are three rules of language which help judges interpret the words in a statute. The adjustum generis rule, expressio unius est exclusio alterius rule and the Nochator Associates rule. This video is part of a series of videos on law from www.e-lawresources.co.uk. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash at e-lawresources. It's free to do so and will help us to keep providing these videos. Check out our website which provides lecture outlines and case summaries. See also www.e-lorevision.org.uk for revision games and quizzes. Thanks for watching.